if you like a film that really parodies Hollywood in the most way, really holds nothing back, parodies actors making movies and Hollywood producers and head of the productions, well, Tropic Thunder is that film for you. Directed by Ben Stiller, and he also stars in the film as Tug Speedman, uh, an action film star who is who, who is just really trying to get out of being typecast as a, that action hero. He did do um, he did do a film called Simple Jack, where he played a mentally challenged farmhand, which flopped because, like Robert Downey Jr. said. He went full re retard. Yeah, try to wrap your finger around that one. And then there's uh, Jeff Portroy, played by Jack Black, uh, a comedian with a uh, drug use. Yeah, see, that's been in Hollywood a lot of times. And then there's Robert Downey Jr. as Kirk Lazarus, an Australian method actor who is playing a black man in Tropic Thunder. Yeah, <laughs> try to get around the insanity of that part. You know, Robert Downey Jr.'s character, when he's in, when he looks like a black man, he looks like Terrence Howard. You know, the the original Rhodey Rhodes from the first Iron Man. And they're trying to make this war movie, and it's not working out. So the the filmmakers put these actors in a real war setting, just to get them a good feel for what they're experiencing. And I guess you know a lot of craziness ensues and all that stuff. And, you know, <laughs> it's a funny movie. Oh, let's not forget Brandon T. Jackson is Al Pacino, rapper. Al Pacino. Get, gee, really, the movie makes no bones about what it's saying there. <laughs> Al Pacino, who pr promotes his own drink called Booty Sweat. Booty Sweat. Who? How many people are going to drink that, I wonder? <laughs> Oh, let's not forget Tom Cruise as Len Les Grossman. Man, Tom Cruise really hams it up whenever he's in a scene in Tropic Thunder. I mean, he just really... He steals almost every scene he's in. He just gets all these cool, wordy jokes, and he just really goes for the throat. And Tom Cruise looks like he's having a blast. There were talks of a spinoff of his character... Of that character, I mean. But that never worked. It's ten years later. Who knows? It still might happen. It's just nice to see Tom Cruise do a comedy because you don't, don't think I've seen him do that many. I mean, maybe Night and Day was kind of what you call a comedy. But but I don't know. Matthew McConaughey was good, too, as a producer and friend to Tug. But, yeah, this movie is just insane. It's, it's a fun and same sort of thing. I mean, the movie... I like the way the movie never takes itself seriously. It's a... It is a parody of Hollywood life and, and the lifestyles of the actors. I don't know if Robert Downey Jr.'s character was supposed to take aim at Russell Crowe. I don't know who Jack Black was taking aim at. Maybe several comedians would... You heard the, you heard the media about several comedians with drug problems. Uh, Tug, uh, ben Stiller as Tug Speedman was supposed to take aim at many action stars who are just trying to break out of that mold. Yeah, this movie is fun. You could you could tell the actors were having fun doing this movie. It just looks like it was a, a joy. So I give Tropic Thunder a 10 out of 10. Bye-bye. <laughs>